Hi, I'm Martina, also known as Angelica, and today I'll be talking about how to develop your art style. Disclaimer, I'm not saying I'm completely satisfied with my style as this is something I believe continues to grow as you grow, but I'm at a comfortable point in my art journey where I can share some tips and some tricks that can hopefully help you. First thing you wanna do is establish where your work is at on your dream work scale. I think every artist has a standard that they want their work to be. For example, I want my dream work to feature elements that pull the viewer out of this world. Establishing where you are on the scale can help you figure out exactly how much you have to do in order to reach your dream work. If you're finding it difficult to start, ask yourself the following. If you were to rate your work out of 10, what would it be? Do you see yourself in your work? And finally, what do you want from your art? Once this is done, you can move on to phase two. I recommend looking at work you've created within a year as this will give you a lot more selection to actually end up picking from. While picking, please make sure to look at everything you've created. This includes finished pieces, sketchbook work, random doodles, etc, etc. Phase three is pretty much the same as the previous phase. Previous? Did I say that right? I don't even know. <laughs> But instead, you'll be picking out external inspirations. Once again, check everything. Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, magazines, comics. Whatever it is you find inspirational, interesting, whatever works for you. Now, at this point, gather everything you've got and categorise them into key features that you notice and that mean something to you. For example, my key features were line work, repeating themes, texture and effects. Make sure to mix up your work with the external work you've picked out so you can see the similarities and differences between them. With your key features identified, you need to take the time to analyse what exactly you like about these features and how you want them to show up in your work. It's very important for these key features to make sense to you as this work is for you and it will be created by who? You. <laughs> what we're looking for in this process are concepts, techniques and styles that truly resonate with you. So things that not only mean something to you here and now, but will continue to be timeless. So if you pick something because it's trendy, make sure to note that down because that's what we're trying to avoid. Unless you wanna be trendy. Go ahead. During this point, feel free to add concepts for future work you would like to create as this will help in the final phase. Can you tell I'm excited? this is the part we've all been waiting for yes anyways it's time to create to make this process a little bit easier make sure to have your notes nearby so you can use them as reference if you're doing this digitally i recommend making it into a pdf just so it's all in one place take a few features and use this as a basis for your work this is a time to learn and try techniques you've always been scared to explore. So with each new piece you create, try adding or rotating more features and see if it works for you. Play around with new mediums, paint, fine liner, Photoshop, Illustrator, Sis, whatever works for you. To be honest, I'm not fussed. Remember, not all work has to be finished as you are developing and growing. So it's important to take that pressure off. Even though your journey is not going to be the same as my journey, I'm going to give you a little preview of my work just so you can see the progression. It's not always going to be great either, okay? There are going to be many times where you think you're awful and you should just quit. Child, I'm speaking from a lot of experience. <laughs> But it is vital you embrace 
every stage of the process as you will create work you don't like but how would you know you don't like it if you don't try here's a cute little tip little tidbit okay over time make sure to create work without using these resources you need to allow the creation process to be as natural as possible so trying to problem solve without these resources allows it to be less of a copy and paste situation because it will not be me okay it will not be me who will be getting in trouble for any fraudulent activity okay <laughs> um and more importantly these kids okay thank you <laughs> and more importantly it will help you grow to end this process ask yourself the following if you were to rate your work out of 10 what would it be do you see yourself in your work and finally what do you want from your art I really hope this helps for someone. Please let me know if it does. But for now, it's goodbye. That looks like a grown man. No way is that a kid. I look cute. Uh, the glass is dusty though. Oh gosh. <laughs> If you see me looking off to the side, doing a little side eye, I have a script. So <laughs> I'll be forgetting what I want to say, or I'll be stuttering. To be honest, even if I had a script, I'll be doing star star. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Not a grown man playing football with some kids. Ciao, oh my gosh. Anyways. <laughs>